guys, I'm from the vault here. Welcome back to more LA Noir. I talk too much in intro, so let's go ahead and just get jump right back into the game, guys. I'll see you back in just a sec. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. I think we are going to harass him without evidence. Nice. Good job, boys. I think we're going to harass everybody with evidence. Oh, here, what's this? A lesion memo. So lesion Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Okay. Anything else here? This is that other door, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just make sure there's nothing else around here. I don't hear any music whatsoever, though, so I think we're fine. Just in case. Have I ever driven this car before? It doesn't look familiar. No, I never have. Chevrolet civilian van. Huh. Don't worry, Biggs. We're going Let's back to our vehicle. Fire Station 32. Yeah, I'm going exactly to Fire Station 32. Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. You can drive. All right. Where to? I'm already learning something about fires. That you idiots think just anybody can start them. There's no real reason for it. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on here, Biggs. This guy's either an idiot or lazy. Or a little bit of both. Then again, he could just be crooked since half of this damn town seems to be crooked. I want to drive the fire truck. I want to drive the fire truck. We came truck. as soon as we could. Did we, though? Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Okay. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve. And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Oh my god, what? Um uh, So the balloon goes the gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Okay. Then this there, and then, can this go on top of that? No, no. Oh, God, these puzzles. Okay. And the regular valve in the middle? Because the gas is in the balloon, Good, right? regulator's in position. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. This makes sense, right? Because the gas will go through there. We turn on the regulator. It'll go into that house, and then it, the gas will explode from the mosquito, mosquito coil? 
Yeah. Yeah. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Next show. You guys, friends. Oh, I'm running into walls. <laughs> Sam's taking me out of Palm Springs. Hey, come on. Give me it. Hurry up, Biggs. We're on our way to a factory. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Here we go! All right. Insta Heat Factory! LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. All right. Oh, here we go. She stares at orange for hours. Well, it does say concentrate on the car. to be a secretary. Wow, that was that a really horrible outrageous. joke. My wife stares at orange juice for hours. It does say concentrate on the bottle. That's pretty bad. Are Not you in your life, Buster? Oh fuck you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Go back, go back, go back. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Well, I mean it wasn't safe around here anymore. I'd like things that were new and improved too. Okay, so I guess that I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. Okay, I'm pretty sure he said sock the hell out of you. But my brain heard suck the hell out of you, and I'm sorry, but that's a better line. <laughs> Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. I see. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Mm. I'm not buying it. He just keeps adjusting himself and smiling a little weird. What you guys can't see is while I'm watching these people, I'm like mimicking what they're doing, and I'm like, I don't like this one. <laughs> You're telling me that you've never stupid. had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Jeez. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Okay, he's lying, but do I have any way to prove it? Stefan's family here destroyed. Matthew Ryan. Um, oh. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to accuse him. Maybe I can use that. I don't know. If I think you're lying, work. Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked yes. a fault like this. Okay, here we go. Yes, so I can use this. Ryan. 
What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasick? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. Here we go. All right, so we'll be there. looking for... Around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. Yeah. I want to run it by R&I. Cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Okay. This sounds dangerous. So where's your phone? Wait. Where's your phone? Oh, there it is. So it's like, wait a minute. One of these days. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. <laughs> You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley. Where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Cole looks a little like... I don't know, I he looks a little cheeky. This town is going straight Here. to hell. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Law, authority. Law Clemens and... is a fellow traveler. Okay, so he's into anarchy. I mean, does that do me any good? So, what's the other name? Matthew Ryan, here we go. Oh, fuck. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Well, I mean... Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? We are so perverted by an education which from infancy seeks to kill us in our spirit of revolt and to develop that of submission to authority. We are so perverted by this existence under the futile... Anyway. <laughs> under the rule of law, I think is what it said. But whatever. It's words, 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 words. Okay, Reginald. Oh. A company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Also used to start fires, Cole. Also used. Barley to start has a problem fires. with bugs. Got some big shoes. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasick? No, I didn't know that. It's a favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. 
Boom. All right. Music says we're good, so Three we'll get bar. out of here. Oh, what's this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? I, I was just trying to leave, and all of a sudden, it's loading. Who <gasps> are arsonist is on to cars now? Or is he prepping to burn another house down? Well, I solved the case. That's the arsonist. He's a man of some age in a hat with a jacket. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Clemens' work sites. I feel like we should just do these in order. Okay, so let me pull out of traffic. We need to just put a seatbelt on. Or at least that's what it looked like. He's not saying anything smart ass to me yet. What's with that? I'm driving like shit. Okay, I guess he's got nothing to say to me. Well, then I guess I'll just transition while I uh, destroy the vehicle driving through the site in a completely nonsensical way. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, I can see the instant heat truck. At least I think I see the instant heat truck. That's not our arsonist. I know, because I've seen his back. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers, and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Just tell me what you want, what you really, really want. You know Reginald Barley? No? Can't say I do. Bullshit. Snide little motherfucker. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads around if you can. Mm. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? He didn't answer whether he was licensed. Uh, we don't know that he's not licensed, though. Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did what? the right thing. What? Ah! Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. That's bullshit. A, you work with him. B, were you the two with the anarchist pamphlets? Two of you had pamphlets. Clemens, yes. Okay, so yes, you do know Ryan. So that's a Q's. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? They have meetings? We're gonna go for... Pamphlet. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Okay, so... Reginald and Matthew are on the next two. So who do we go after next? So Varley's next. Varley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, I say we take Ooh, the doubt shit. out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel.
All right, guys. So it turned out we were actually super close. Oh yeah, that's the house. All right. LAPD, Varley. Stop or I'll shoot. Oh. You kidding me? You kidding me? <gasps> oh! I wasn't supposed to kill him. LAPD, oh, Varley. Stop or I'll shoot. I'm just supposed to scare him. I got it. I'm sorry. That was stupid. I can't put one on him from here. Oh, I gotta do that thing. Okay. Come on, Varley. I got it. You can't keep running forever. Yeah, Varley. You can't keep running forever. Except maybe you can. I don't actually know what kind of man you are. Shit. I feel like there's supposed to be times when we can do that, but... What? Really, Cole? Oh my gosh, you have to be kidding me! That is so obnoxious. My old fat partner's doing better than I am. Get, get out of my way. Oh! He's gonna get in that truck. I'm fucked. Ah, I'm fucked. Yeah, we're screwed. I don't know what to do now. There's no vehicle for me to get into, so... Sam! So I can't kill him. I gotta find a time when I can actually pretend to shoot him. LAPD or do the shoot into the air thing, I guess. Stop or I'll shoot. Jeez. One thing I have to give this game credit for is it does allow you to actually skip this stuff. Like Come if on, you find Barley. out it's too you hard and you're forever. struggling with it, it lets you just kind of give up on it. And that's kind of nice. I, I like that it does that. I wish Cole could go just a little bit faster, though. I mean, come on, Cole. Stop, yes. or I will shoot! Thank God. I don't know why he can't just yell that in the first place. Why did you run from us, Varley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley the Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest is Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. We didn't even talk to that guy. Okay. So I guess we're going to Ryan's place. Huh. I mean, we didn't even talk to him. I thought we were at least gonna talk to him like we did the other guy. Oh, here we go, here we go. That face is creepy. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs. Arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Oh, bullshit. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Really? We didn't think he was going to take off. I didn't think that was really a question. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one man wrecking ball. Move in. Agreed. I'll the take damage is the cosmetic. Man. You stupid car! I've had so many better cars in this game. Get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close oh in, Phelps. Gosh. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. Oh my gosh, I'm so screwed. I'm not gonna make he's this. That's fine. He's in a That's company fine. van and he's losing us, Cole. Some partner I got. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear anything from you, old man. 
Okay, I can still see him. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Oh my god! He's got an arson related assault charge and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We gotta get this guy in the room before we can get an angle on him. This Start man shooting has got him. to be stopped. I heard somewhere that police have an 18% chance of actually Keep hitting their target. I'm trying to bust this tire. Jesus, what is he doing? Oh, tramp! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Dude is still moving, but... Wow. Why isn't it? Put your hands where I can oh, see them. I was like... Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Arsons? Oh, we already know he's an anarchist. Oh, we must have to go down to the station and talk to him or something, right? Like, why wouldn't we get the chance to talk to him? That seems stupid. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. Yeah, okay, so we'll head to the station. Oop. Didn't mean to go backwards. So we'll have to go talk to both of them and then accuse one, I'm assuming. But it's gonna be neither of them, because that's just the way this game works. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching me play L.A. Noir. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me, helps other people find the videos, and as usual, guys, it is a huge motivation to keep moving forward. In just a second here, there's going to be a picture of my big dumb face popping up on the screen. Click on that if you'd like to subscribe. That will let you see when I have new videos out. Otherwise, there will also be a playlist to all of my L.A. Noir videos, as well as a video that YouTube thinks you'd like. I will see you guys in the next one.